let's move on. You can put denoisier or denoisers in the same category as super resolution. It's going to end up being, you can use them using this, you can solve them using the same framework. This was an assignment for you to watch. Any questions about that? So in terms of the big picture, the previous state of the art before deep learning were doing their, were designing their algorithms based on this assumption that you need to have additive white Gaussian noise, and then you can denoise it. But what if the noise that you're going to end up with is coming out of super resolution? That's going to give you a different type of noise. What if it's coming out of JPEG deblocking? That's going to end up being a non-Gaussian type of noise. And can you go beyond Gaussian denoiser? And the answer is yes. Rather than learning a nonlinear function that takes your noisy image and it's going to give you the denoised image, learn the difference between the denoised image and the actual noiseless image. Just learn the difference. So we saw this idea before. Now it's in a different context, in the context of denoisers. Any questions about this? And residual learning is, learn is helping a lot. Also, batch normalization is helping to some extent for this particular task, denoising.